dollars to bury the Horden Pavilion tennis court under 200 tons of dirt. The track has been built for the first international indoor BMX championships this weekend. The sight of grinning, dirt-encrusted kids racing breathlessly over the humps and bumps of local parks and suburban circuits has become part of the Aussie Outdoor Weekend in recent years. You'll see some of the same indoors at the Horton Pavilion beginning tomorrow night. But BMX is no backyard operation. The manufacturers of cycles and associated riding gear are enjoying an unprecedented boom. And following the American lead, racing is well organised and promoted, attracting considerable commercial sponsorship. The indoor championship carries $10,000 in prize money and has attracted professional riders even from the United States, including 18-year-old Andy Patterson. BMX is no longer just for kids. The layout of the track is really uh, good. I like the layout of it. They didn't have much room to work with, but the room that they did have to work with, they made the best of it. So is, is it a case of just getting on a bike and going for it? Uh, it seems to me yeah. like you've got to be really fit. Well, yeah, you gotta, you got to be in shape. you got to be able to, uh, you know, we, we don't just get on a bike and go for it. We have to work out during the week whenever we're not gone. And we have to do sprints, starts, lift out with weights, and uh, watch what we eat so we don't, um, you know, we don't want to get too fat. <laughs> And good evening. And even a Mickey Mouse on because it won't be this and boxing, but a new sporting development could prove to be the most popular of all. About 200 tonnes of dirt were tipped onto the coveted tennis court in the pavilion earlier this week to set up Australia's first indoor BMX meeting. More than 500 girls and boys have been taking part in the three-day championships, which carry total prize money of $10,000. Age competition has ranged from 5 to 15-year-olds, as well as the open class. The Horton Pavilion has proved to be ideal, with spectators able to view every inch of the track from the comfort of their seats. Each rider has competed in a minimum of eight heats, and results were taken from their best seven. Semi-finalists then had to ride three semi-final motos, with the six highest point scorers fighting out the finals. BMX riding is one of the fastest growing sports in Australia, but still has a long way to go to match its growth in the United States. Some American riders are now grossing over $100,000 in prize money each year. The sport may attract many children because of its glamour, but they soon realise it requires great strength and endurance. Many BMX riders are now regularly working out with weights in the gym to build up their shoulder and back muscles. The final of the Open division will be decided tonight, with each of the six riders regarded as having the same chance of victory. <laughs> 